Welcome to Shepherd's Coffee Talk. Today we're continuing our conversation with Body Shapes and Elaine Chabon, uh, one of our stylists here and our a guru, our style guru <laughs> here at Shepherd's. What are we talking about today? We're talking about the rectangle and the column. Mm -hmm. So we've amalgamated these two shapes because basically we're talk they, they are very, very similar, mm -hmm. okay? So the difference with the column is that she's like that model thin Right. Okay, girl, that we all love to envy, but she has her challenges as well. Mm -hmm. She's typically a size two, four, six. She can be tall, she can be petite, but she's kind of up straight and up down, and down. Straight no up curves. And down. Mm -hmm. No curves. Okay. Mm -hmm. No curves. Um, challenges, but also in some ways easy to dress. Easy to dress. You can wear just about anything, for heaven's sakes. It's like the hanger, right? But that's, that's what we but mess. that's what we say. We say, oh, they can wear that's, anything, oh, yeah. but they've got no, their no. challenges too. They do. They Let's do. find out more about that. So here we have Anne representing our column body shape. Welcome, Anne. Thank you. <laughs> so Anne is a model, and you will find that a lot of models are a column. Why? Because we can dress and layer them at will. Okay. So the column is defined by long, lean limbs. Um, typically, fairly narrow, but proportioned all the way down. So again, not a lot of waist to speak of, right? Right. Okay. The arms are long, the legs are long as well. So whether you're petite or a taller girl like Anne, you'll always have that length, that kind of lightness, and a swan-like neck. But you have your challenges in dressing. Yes, I do, because it's very hard when you don't have any shape. I think it lacks a little femininity, so the dresses. I don't wear dresses very often, because I think it's just sort of straight up and down. Okay. But uh, I'm bony, so I always want to cover my chest and so on. So these are challenges, but you know, we all have them. We all Whatever have body them. shape we are. Exactly. So we're going to put you in a few great looks that we can style together for you to see. And here we have Lori representing our rectangle shape. So the rectangle is all about straight lines, as is the column. She has a stronger structure, a more athletic-based structure. So from the neck to the shoulder, the rib cage is strong, it's straight as well, so not a lot of curvature to speak of. The legs are well defined, so every articulation is strong, and as I mentioned, almost as athletic, but it's not a muscle that we're speaking of, it's the actual bone structure that makes her a rectangle. But Lori, there's a bit of a twist here at the back, because Lori is a bit of a mix. If you have a look here at the back, here is where you're going to see a curved shape an indented waist, so to speak. You can see it here, and then you can see a rounded tush, which is not classically the column. So again, so I'll ask you to turn around again, my darling. So again, what we're saying here is that many, many women are a mix of different shapes. I think each of us thinks we're the only ones who have challenges dressing, but every shape, it That's seems, right. has most certainly every shape and every woman because they all have we all have our own set of unique proportions mm -hmm, right mm -hmm. so little tip here when you're in the fitting room trying something on what's the first part of the body that you're looking at in the mirror mm -hmm. that's typically your challenging area okay. mm -hmm. so start by addressing that get that and then have fun with the rest. Exactly. Mm. Go outside your comfort zone. And try some things. Right? Yes. And don't be so hard on yourself. Exactly. Go outside your comfort zone and own whatever shape you've got. So let's find out more about how to dress a column rectangle. We're kicking off our looks with Anne, who you will recall is our column shape. So what we can do with her is that we can layer her up in all kinds of rich, luxurious looks, such as this menswear look from Joseph Rickoff. And she's also tall and like mm -hmm. you say very lean. She used to be a model and, and still models mm -hmm. um, but I mean th this is what a lot of models um, really strive to be right so that they close really just hang off of them. Exactly. Very, very beautifully done. So the white shirt, of course, it's crisp, it's white. And then that kind of big knitwear piece that someone with a fuller bust may or may not want to go to. She can do all of that. And then a necklace, a statement necklace, that, that banded um, bag, and the big wide leg. Mm. So here is the same look, but just the bare bones of it to show you. 
I mean, you can't beat a great white shirt. It's so mm -hmm. uh, dramatic and really workable in your wardrobe. But I'm liking this menswear, this this beautiful uh, plaid pant in the wider length. Mm -hmm. And yet another close up to show you again, just the ribbing on that. And again, it, it's just this is why we're always inspired by the column. Um, so that that is that look. Second look on Anne. So again, as a column, it's all about long, lean limbs, and you can you can kind of do almost anything. But so here we've layered her up in a skinny jean because we wanted to create the silhouette. Really let this big, beautiful kind of poncho Ruana wrap shine. Um, and then she's got the satin shirt, so she's got that lustrous texture that she's doing on top. There are no rules here. She can almost do anything again, I do want to say. Um, yeah. And third look on Anne, so it's the Irish sweater. And because she does not have a pronounced bust, she can do very interesting things over the bust line. And again, we did add the necklace. She does feel that she has a little bit of boniness on the breastbone. That's why we she likes to cover that up with a necklace, with a scarf, um, with this kind of knitwear. And you know, and, and you always sort of think the column has no trouble, exactly. no problems, but they have a lot of issues that they feel that they're struggling with. Exactly. So now this is another column, but this mm -hmm. is the... The rectangle. rectangle, right? So what's the difference between a column and a rectangle? So the rectangle has a, what we like to say is a little more meat on their bones or more of an athletic structure. So the structure is still straight up and down lines, but every articulation has um, is more defined as broader. Mm -hmm. Now, Lori, um, so you see why we put her in this dress? Because it has the shaping already done for her. It shapes her like an hourglass, which sometimes she wants to do. She has mentioned that I can say this about her. She's recently lost 30 pounds, Marlene. Wow. Mm. Yeah, so she's wanted to show her shape. She likes dresses. And, you know, you can do it as long as the dress is shaped to mm -hmm. give you that, that hourglass mm -hmm. shape. Mm-hmm. So beautiful looks mm -hmm. and well put together. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Well, you know, so you can go different ways with the column, the rectangle. You can either embrace those vertical lines, echo your shape, or you can create curves with accessories and great fabric and draping. So much fun in fashion. Mm -hmm. And we have an event coming up because there's been so much interest in our style personalities and our body shape. We're going to have an event here at Shepherd's Fashions and Train Yards in Ottawa. And we're also gonna do Facebook Live yes. September 5th at 10.30 in the morning called Celebrate Your Shape. Yeah, because so join us. people have questions and mm -hmm. they're asking questions, but but really we wanna see you in person to help you if that's mm -hmm. gonna yes. be mm -hmm. what, you, what you, get what you need. If you can't join us though, Facebook Live is where you wanna yeah, be. Yeah, we're gonna have lots of shapes on stage and we're gonna talk about the, the ways to enhance your shape. Mm -hmm. Based on your questions, comments. <laughs> Enjoy your day. Thank you very much for joining us here.